Good morning, neighbor. Let's talk about it, Tiger Bomb. Good morning, neighbors. My new green cardigan? It's pretty <laughs> swell, right? Thanks, I got it from Goodwill. It's part of the bit for a TV show. The Villains Guild really likes my education about Nutsies. Oh, my sweet praise child, bless your heart. What's better about educating thousands of people about Nutsies and their dog whistles? Well, educating hundreds of thousands, of course. For my non-Norse watchers at home, Frey was considered to be a god of summer. Let's see what this visitor to the neighborhood also has to say. But I digress. You know, if you have such a big problem with all the things that, you know, the Nazi Germans took and culturally appropriated from our culture, why are you following our way of life? Ah, I get it. Because deep down inside, you just as racist as they were. I think that's a little bit more than a digress. I wonder if he means our people or our religion. I mean, all are welcome into Norse paganism, right? And yes, Mr. Norseman has a gigantic problem with them appropriating our symbols. Wouldn't want people thinking I'm a Nutsi. They weren't good people. I'm starting to think this visitor means ours is his and things are fine just the way they are. What do you think? Let's see what else he has to say. And I see that you're already a Ukraine supporter. Do you know that there's large factions of what you would consider to be Nazi Germans in Ukraine? Oh, the irony. Got yes, yes I am. You know, Nutsis are everywhere, and in places you wouldn't imagine, like the Wagner Group, named after the worst half-mustache man favorite musician. This is kind of a weird argument. Not only were the Rus in Russia, but also Kiev. Norse gods used to sit on the hills surrounding the capital. Now then, you and I are also both veterans. I don't know about you, but I saw them in the U.S. military as well. Meanwhile, back in civilian life, Jim, the jailer, up the street. Well, if the day of the rope ever happened here in the States, well, I'd have to boop him too. However, if there was a foreign invader much like Ukraine, we would have to fight side by side, much like you and I did in the U.S. Army. I wish it was that cut and dry, friend. Anyways, it's funny, you know, Tiger, instead of educating on what these symbols really mean. Instead, you reinforce what the spicy Germans appropriated these symbols to mean. Why would you do that? If our way of life is so offensive to you, why are you in it? Why are you acting as a leader for people who oppressed you, your people so fucking horribly? My people? Oh, you think I'm Jewish? No, I've never claimed that. That would be wrong. What I have said is my grandfather is Jewish. I am adjacent and a big old ally. When I was about six years old, he married my Scandinavian grandmother and he helped raise me. He fought in World War II and is the main reason why I joined the US Army and he was so proud when I got my jump wings. Do you have a pair? You don't have a pair. Well, you sure are coming at me like you have a set. So instead of continuing the ignorance, Tiger, why don't you try educating and enlightening? I mean, you're gonna meet oppression with oppression and violence. Hmm. Makes you no better than a fucking spicy German. I said it. You fucking turn up. Ready? Me a leader? Golly! Thanks! A scoreboard leader, maybe? 
And in regards to that, I've spoken to several creators on this app. Should I die and go to Valhall? Anywhere, really. Please put my high score on my tombstone. Because those people really don't like me. I'm taking their symbols back. Why aren't you? Because people are more educated on identifying them, they can't hide. Side note, remember that oath we swore to the Constitution? We're not to give aid to enemies of this country. They're still enemies to this country. Also, if you want me to leave, make me. It's just that simple. So you're saying I shouldn't have them all 127. Speak out against evil and give it no rest. And yes, I meet the enemy with great violence because I'm capable of it. Like a lot, a lot. Doing all this physical stuff for charity keeps me motivated. But until I see one face to face again and give him a giant hug with a side of headbutt, well, this is the next best thing. I have no quarrel with the circles you travel in. As a matter of fact, I'm gaining respect for a lot of them. I'm mutuals with your co-pilot. But I want to be clear and not insinuate. You want me to stop educating about Nootsie dog whistles, not give them the old Havamal 127 suplex, I'm not one of your people, and I should get out. Well, this has been one giant video for me to turn around and say, I do what I want. You're not the boss of me. And I'm not responsible for the consequences of your actions. The Havamal's quite cut and dry about it. But I will promise this. I am going to educate just as hard as I can. And I might just dedicate a few just for you, Cody. I hope you have a wonderful day.